behavior. And if data lacked emotion, what was his big motivation to do anything that his programming? Him? What? His, his programming was his, his program. motivation. His chip. What is your toaster's motivation to toast your toast? <laughs> That's a good answer. It's what it's programmed to do. Ah, that's good. Little do you know, though, your toaster probably wants to be human. <laughs> Thank you for making me more paranoid than I already am. It's my pleasure. Oh, Hi. Um, Which one is one first? What? Which do you want to do first? Uh, I don't have a preference. Uh, but, okay, here's your, I'll, I'll start the question. Okay. Um, so you were in the Big Bang, you were in an episode of the Big Bang Theory. Correct. And in the episode, you went to uh, Will Wheaton's party, and Will Wheaton had like this little action figure of him. And like, I don't remember the exact line, but like he said something like, remember how he used to take you to the makeup position and it looked like they were playing with themselves? Yes, something like that. Is that true, or is that just something they made? No. <laughs> You know what, I, I actually wasn't thrilled with that line, because, because it was so untrue, and I was playing myself, and, and I, I objected to it, and uh, they said, just say the line. And um, actually, we did one take, I got the line cut, I didn't say it, uh, Johnny Galecki came up to me and said, hey, nice going, you got that line cut, and I went, yeah, I know a bad line when I hear it, and the next take, they said, do the line this time, and it made it into the show. But those guys are great. They know what they're doing. If you're watching, yes, I'd like to be on another episode. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. And okay. uh, as for the other thing, um, yeah. so I have lived with uh, Asperger's syndrome for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. And it's been a on the DVDs, uh, the Blu-rays, but uh, I was completely unaware of it at the time. Um, but uh, one day we were uh, on the set and I had my makeup on, I was in my trailer and there was a knock at the door and I opened the door and it was Dr. Oliver Sacks. And uh, it just a giant uh, in the field of, of autism and Asperger's and, uh, and also a wonderful writer. Uh, but he kind of clued me into it a little bit that that there were a lot of kids who were relating to data and his struggle to understand emotion and humanity in, in the same way. And I, I, I tell you what, it, it is so overwhelming to know that. I'm glad I didn't really know it while I was doing the show because I think I would have pushed the writers to, to address it in a way that, that maybe wouldn't have been right. And just the fact that we did it the way we did it and it had this impact that I didn't even know about it, it just made it all the more worth it to me. And I'm, I'm so glad that it was helpful to you and to other kids. Thank you. I'm a truly wonderful person. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. So let me ask you one more time. Indeed. <clears throat> when you bit Holyfield's ear, what was that like? <laughs> Tastes like chicken. No doubt. Tastes like chicken. See, I set you up, you pay them off, right? Okay. Once. Yeah. You're still scared to be here. Yeah, you, I, you know what? You can make money doing it. You really could. It's better looking than Tyson, let me say. Thank you. Thank you. I, I told him that. Yeah. Is that why your ear's missing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just two things. One, I wanted to ask you something. Every time I watch, First contact. Yes. There's one scene where I see Alice Creek. Yeah. And she's so much hotter as the queen, by the way. Oh my god, there's things on her. Oh, pull those. Anyway. Um, <laughs> you're there, and you somehow have these wonderful hairs on your arm. Yeah. Were they your hairs, 
<laughs> and she just gently blew them. Yes. And this genuine look of of arousal <laughs> was on your face. And as data to show something like that was amazing. And I was wondering just how real was that for you? To <laughs> You know, you always try to bring part of yourself into the world. Sometimes it's easier than other times. That was easy. Actually, my, my, my big question was, it's, it's really serious. I mean, I, I've been coming to these things for almost 15 years now. 15 I've met, years. Yeah, I've met all these wonderful people. And I can't help but wonder, if you would, when you started this whole process, I mean, Patrick Stewart is back at PAX as far as I hear for two years almost. I mean, no one thought, no one knew whether this bird would fly. And now, all these years later, you are a part of American mythology. You're an icon. You know, your character is an icon. Wow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but how does that, how, how do you feel about that? I mean, looking back to when you started to pretty much where you fit this incredible mythos now, how does that affect you as a uh, you know what, honestly, I, I don't want to think about it. Um, I, I, I'm appreciative of the fact that I happened to luck into being part of this gigantic epic thing, you know? Because uh, I do believe that Star Trek is the most important piece of entertainment ever in the history of America. Uh, um, because it, it, you know, what is it? Three years from now, it'll be 50 years yes. of Star Trek? Yes. Yeah. But you can't not take it seriously uh, at 50 years. You know, you have to go, there's something about that. Um, and it keeps going. And I think it will keep going. Uh, I'm delighted these guys are making movies now, and that J.J. Abrams is doing these pictures, and there will undoubtedly be another series, or two, or three, and more movies. And I don't think it, Star Trek's ever going to end. And uh, so I'm, I'm honored to be part of this, this epic tapestry that is Americana at its best. Um, but, you know, sometimes when I'm talking to my son, and he, I have an 11 year old, and he's giving me grief, and I go, Don't you know I'm an icon? <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to an icon like that. <laughs> thank you. It's been oh, an absolute okay. pleasure, sir. Hi, thank you so much. Um, hi, Karen. Do you want to speak for a moment? This is Karen, everyone. I don't know if you know her. Uh, I know you. This is Karen, everyone. I don't know if you know her. Like I said, every year something happens. All right, uh, we're here to do uh, an auction item for the Julian Fleming Memorial Fund. It's the one that we do every year. We do one with guests. This year, we're privilege to do too. Um, but usually people say, what are twin items? There's only one of you on the stage. Well, for the first time in eight years, my sister's here. Yay! This is my sister, Lisa, for those of you who don't remember her. Um, and since this is a technology item, and all I know about technology is turn it on, turn it off, I made her come today so that she could explain what this auction item is. And before I turn the mic over, let me say that this, um, Mr. Schweiner has agreed to autograph this for the buyer. We have a pre-bid opening of $250. We do not have the bidder from Australia on the phone this time, thank goodness. <laughs> um, but here it is, and have fun bidding for this. I'll let Lisa explain to you what it is. Did they win? Hello, I am the hidden twin. I'm the one who hides in the background, but Karen decided to drag me out today. And what we have here is a pun that is just waiting to be made. This is an Android phone with unlimited data. <laughs> Functions does it? 250 for this. 
It's fully functional. Is it fully functional? <laughs> <laughs> I don't let's find out. <laughs> Hello? I asked you never to call me here. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we're gonna do what? 250 is the opening bid? 250, 250, do I have 250, do I have 250? Oh, uh, 250 right there. Uh, three, three, who has three? Three, three, do I have 350? 350 right there. Four, four, back in the back. 450 right here. Five, back there. 550 right here. This is exciting. <laughs> I feel like I'm on that uh, reality show with the, 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 the different uh, storage wars, you know? 550 right here, right here, right here, right here. Six back there, six, 650 right here. We're down to two people already. 650, right? 650 going once. Seven. 750. He's driving it up, don't you understand? It's just the way it works on the show. And then all of a sudden, he's gonna come in and grab it, right? Oh, where are we? Seven? 7.50. Eight. 8.50. Eight. Eight Quick, go to a thousand. Do I have a thousand? Do I have a thousand right there? Wow. Hello? Patrick? <laughs> You're our friend. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm auctioning a phone. I've got a thousand dollars for it. Do you have a, an offer on it? That's right. <laughs> All right. A thousand right there. Do I have eleven hundred? Eleven, 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 eleven. Is that the way it works? I've got a thousand. Are we happy with a thousand? <laughs> Because I can force it higher, I think. A thousand once, a thousand. You're taking a picture of me, you're not raising your hand, right? For 11, okay. Hey, be careful. A thousand, a thousand, a thousand going once. A thousand going twice. A thousand for the last time. One more chance. This gentleman gets it for a thousand dollars. It's a nice phone too. It's a HTC One. That's a great phone. All right, very good. Well, uh, I'm not going to sign it, by the way. Just, no, no, of course I will. Uh, Karen, are you okay with that? A thousand bucks. I am thrilled with that. That is an entire grant for a family of a terminally ill child. All right. Thank you so much. Excellent. Well done. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm done here, right? Not quite. One more thing. What's that? Uh, oh, do you want the phone, by the way? Oh, okay. I don't, I don't, is, I mean, is it going to hurt? Hi. What? Funny. 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 Oh. Okay, um, we are doing our <laughs> traditional presentation of the Shirley mascot, the bunny. I love it! And it's based on one of the classic Trek, Trek episodes, Shirley, where the bunny caused some mischief. Oh, that is... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you all so much. Delighted to be here. Shirley was great. I hope you go on for years and years and years and years. I'll see you in uh, 500 years. I'll be back. <laughs>